So in this video, we'll be discussing how to cut baseboard orders. Baseboard heaters have been standard nominal lengths for years. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and sometimes eight and 10 foot lengths have been very common. Occasionally, however, you'll need something that's in between a standard length. So we're gonna show you how to cut baseboard orders at home, the tools needed, very simple. Hand shears that are capable of 22 gauge steel, a metal file, pliers, of course, a tape measure, masking tape to mark the line on the panel, and a Sharpie to mark the tape, and gloves are always a good idea as well. The size of the panel we'll be cutting today is 30 inches. So we'll be taking the next standard size up, which is 36 inches or three foot, and marking it and cutting it. We'll start first with getting our mark for 30 inches, taking the tape measure, running it right to the end, and up the top here, Take our Sharpie and we'll mark off 30 inches. And we're going to mark it just a little, little dot. And we're going to now have a nice straight line using the masking tape. We'll run that down the panel. Take maybe a 9 or 10 inch piece like that. And we'll mark it with the center lines of the holes makes it really easy for your square we'll have the right side of the tape to be used as our cutting edge up top here again right along the centers of those holes back to the lip and as a reminder we'll mark an arrow so we know we're cutting on the right side of the tape. I usually put gloves on just for safety. We are using hand shears, they're pretty big, so I find them more comfortable regardless with the hand shears in my hands. And we'll start with the back side. And make our first cut down. Get things started. So now we're gonna work our way around. This is a bit of a tricky one, getting this 90 degree turn. Small cuts. And two hands is often a good idea to get maximum, maximum shear force. Staying on the side of the tape. We're gonna start at the bottom hem edge. Now remember, this is a this is double thickness down here. It's a hem, so we'll be going through two layers of steel, staying on the right side. We're going to make sure the steel is at the apex of our shears for maximum torque. And again, we'll just two hands start it up. Short little bites. Work your way up the panel. As we get to the top, it just pops off. Edge finishing is fairly straightforward. First thing you'll notice is we've got this disfigured part of the lip here. So we'll use pliers to bend it back. Grab the edge and just Pull it back. The powder coating is very malleable, so it will bend back with the with the steel. No need to worry about that. And of course, this part isn't seen, so don't worry about teeth marks from the pliers. There we go. Now, we want to make sure there are no sharp edges on the cut. So, we'll take our metal file, just just a quick check particularly these areas here where the cuts came together I want to make sure they're free of burrs and sharp edges for handling these edges are rarely seen they're rarely exposed because an end cap will cover this area in most cases okay. 
And there you go. A custom cut 30 inch panels.